Hello, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be discussing the question, is art a critical component of a child's education? Now, I know that sounds like an obvious question, but there are people who don't think it is. Um, so we're going to be debating that today. So if you're watching this right now, it's live. The first two minutes are for the Verbling Premium users. Looks like we have some... Oh, hello, Sultan. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Can you hear me okay? Okay, okay. Sultan, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yes, okay, okay, okay. Alright. Luis, hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going? I'm fine, thank you. How about how about you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. All right. Um, so I was just explaining that today's topic, just in case, just in case you guys didn't see, is right here. Is art a critical component of a child's education? So I know that's an obvious. It sounds like an obvious question but some people think it isn't, so that's what we're here to debate and discuss today. Um, so if you guys are watching this, um, it's live. You can see my Facebook page here. You can leave me feedback here. You can follow me to get updates about my classes, notifications. Um, but yeah, that's about it. The verbling, uh, the button, sh should, I think it's still blue, so what that means is only Verbling Premium users can join, but it'll change to yellow, uh, and we have seven spots open for this class, and there are 30 people watching right now, so try and click that as fast as you can. Oh, okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome. All right. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we have one spot. Okay, there it goes. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Verbling. Like I said, today we're going to be discussing the topic that is written in the description of the class, which is, is art a critical component of a child's education? So we're going to be debating that today. Um, and don't worry if you didn't get into the class. Those of you who are watching but are not in the class, and you can still participate on the verbling chat on the side. Um, this is just going to be a debate, so we're just going to be talking about um, children's education, art, um, and that's about it. So uh, the first thing we're going to do real quick is just go through and have everybody say their name, country, and favorite color. And then after that, we'll get into the debate. Um, so I'll go first. My name's Joe. I'm from the United States, from Phoenix, Arizona. And my favorite color is red. We'll start with Ajeline. Hello, uh, good night here. Uh, I'm from Argentina. I'm from Buenos Aires in Argentina. My name's Ajeline. And my favorite color it's I think purple or violet. Purple. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, Cosmo, Cosmo, are you there? I'm here. All right. Your microphone is. It sounds like it's far away from your face, like this. So try maybe moving it closer. Uh, can you hear me clearly now? A, a little bit. It's not that we can't. We can hear you clearly. It's just very quiet. So maybe hold it like this close to your face. Uh, is not okay. Eh. Uh, you, you maybe maybe try speaking up like louder, because it sounds like you're whispering like this. Uh, what about now? Okay, it's a little better. Okay. Um, I'm. Uh, how do I everybody? I'm from China, and uh, I like travel. I like listening to music, and my favorite color is blue and orange. Blue. Okay. All right. Welcome, Facundo. 
Hello, my name is Facundo. I'm from Argentina, and my favorite color is blue. Okay. Um, Gianluca. Gianluca, are you there? All right. Just a reminder: if you just joined, your microphone may be muted because it is automatically. Now to unmute it, if you go up here and click this button, which should be red, so you can see when I talk, you can't hear what I'm saying, because just like that. Okay, um, we'll let Gianluca try and figure out his microphone. Hewan? Hello. Hello. Uh, hi, Luke. Hi everyone, my name is Chuyen. I'm from Vietnam and my favorite color is red. Alright. James? I muted myself, so sorry. That's okay. Hi, my name is James. Um, I'm from Bangkok, Thailand. I My favorite color is... This might sound weird, but yeah, I like purple. No, per that's fine. My favorite color used to be purple, too. I think that it's silly that people say, oh, why do you like purple? It's a girl's color. Yeah. I think colors, colors are neutral. They don't have, um, I mean, obviously, like, maybe pink is kind of debatable. I don't know. But that's cool. Purple's cool. All right. Um, Luis? Hi, everyone. My name is Luis Henrique. I'm from Brazil. My favorite color is blue. Blue. Okay. All right. Uh, and last we have Yagmur. Hello. Hello, Yagmur. I'm from Turkey. My favorite color is black. Y Yagmur, I th it sounds like your microphone is far from your face. It sounds like this. It sounds like it's very far. Can you try either moving it closer or speaking louder, please? Can you hear me? A li it's a little better. My name is Yamu. I'm from Turkey. And my favorite color is black. Favorite color is red? Black. Okay. All right. Welcome. Okay. So I think that's everybody. Um, let's see. One. Oh, except Gianluca. Are you there? Does anybody know if Gianluca has a microphone? I have maybe not. he could write there. Yeah, maybe. Gianluca, can you write for us if you are listening? Or if you're there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's one spot open for any of you guys that are watching and want to speak. Gianluca? Still not there. Okay. Well, if he doesn't show up in the next 10 minutes, then I can take him out and then somebody else can uh, have the opportunity to speak. Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. Glad you guys are all here today. Um, like I said, we're going to be discussing the question that I posted. Um, so the question was, is art a critical component of a child's education. Now, before we, we debate that question, I think we should define a few things. Um, because this question, we, we need to make sure that we all interpret the question in the same way. So, um, I have my handy dandy whiteboard, which I will be writing the questions right here and then holding them up so you guys can all see them. Um, now, the first thing that we're going to define in this question is um, the part about a child's education. So, for a child's education, what should we define that as? Should we say um, high school and down? Should we say just elementary school? Um, which actually, instead of that, because for some of us, elementary school means one thing, 
um, and high school is one thing. So I think what we should do is define an age group. So what should be the youngest age and what should be the oldest age for this question, for this specific question? And, and we can modify the question too, but basically what we want to talk about is art and education and its role in education. So what should be the age group? What do you guys want the age group to be for this question? So the youngest age and then the oldest age. What, what, do, what do you guys think? I okay. Think the youngest. So you guys, so just shout out whatever you think and I'm going to write it down. And there was one on the chat, so I'm writing that down. Okay, so we've got 5 to 15 is one answer. Any others? 3 to uh, 12. 3 to 12, okay. Any 15. other? Yeah, just shout it out. 15? 15 is more a teenager, he's not a child. 15 is more a teenager, not a child. I mean, what I said was also we can change the question. We can make it, we could we could do it all the way up until high school, but I'll, or we could do it, or we could stick to, cut it yeah, off at 12. Three. What was that, James? It, uh, are, are we doing, like, elementary, from kindergarten to el elementary? I, I was thinking more of that, so 15 might be a little bit too old. I mean, it, it all depends on what you guys want to discuss, so we'll, we'll vote on it. So, whatever you think, just shout it out, and I I'll think write it down. two from two to fifteen. Two to fifteen. My opinion, four to twelve. Four to twelve. Okay. Any others? No. Okay. So, it looks like f most of you have said fifteen. We've got three fifteens and two twelves. So, is there anybody that wants to change their answer, or should we make the um, the one side of the the age range be fifteen? The older part. Should we make that fifteen? Okay. Nobody is objecting to that, so we'll do fifteen. And then for the uh, the other side of that age group for the younger side, we have five, four, three, and two. So I think two might be a little bit too young because I don't think you're in school when you're two, at least you're not in the United States. Um, same with three. Um, four, do you guys start when you're four in your guys' countries or is it five? At four. My no, normally it's gonna be four, but I, I think children can learn when they was like two. Two is a very good age for children to like practice their abilities to learn. Like they, 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 they learning. They, they are learning all the time. Yeah, I think no, I think I think you're absolutely right. We were, they, they should be learning when they're at two. Um, but for this question, uh, for the purpose of this question. I think we should we should think of it in terms of when you start school. Oh. Because when I say education, I mean education by the government or like education that your parents put you into. Not not necessarily like education at your home, like education by the government. Oh or, but, or an institution. But when but when when you are at four, right? You, when you go to school, yeah. like pe like the teacher's gonna teach you like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, something like this. Ah, right? uh, okay. So or, should we say four? All like, like basic stuff. You get what I mean? Yeah. 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 Numbers, colors. Yeah. yeah. So should we say four? Do we all agree on four? Yeah. What was that? Yeah. Jen, Luca. I think we can ag agree on four. Okay. That sounds yeah. good. All right. That's what we'll do then. We'll do four to fifteen. So just just so we all understand. Um, what this question means. So I'm going to write this right here. Um, ages 4 to 15. Okay, so we've got that right there. So um, the question was, is art a critical impo a component 
of a child's education. So now that we've defined the term child, when we say child, we're referring to uh, anyone who's 4 to 15. Um, now, education, when we say education, we just mean education in general. So it doesn't matter if the, stu if the child goes to a public school or a private school. We just mean general education. So just to clarify that. So I'm just going to write that at the top, education um, general. OK, and then once I write that, I think we can get into the debate and start um, debating this. So I'm going to write this question. And then um, basically, you guys can say your opinions. And then we'll kind of start a, start a debate from there. Um, so is art? a critical component um, of a child's education. So just to make sure, um, critical, that word means important, um, and then component is kind of like a piece. So a component of child's education. So if, um, we have a, a child's education, we could say like art, music, physical education, um, mm -mm, I don't know, something else. But those are all components. So component, think of that like a piece. So here's our question. Is art a critical component of a child's education? So what, what do you guys think? And when you say yes or no, uh, give a reason why. I think it's kind of like it's some somewhere in between, you know. Why? What do you mean by in between? Ex explain that a little bit. Because is it said that is art a critical component? Yeah, it it can be a critical component for a child education. It cannot be because sometimes if if you take art as like the like deep deeper in details is ha it have more function of it mm -hmm. like if if you want to do it educally it it can be but if you want to do it for fun it 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 can be too so so, so, so well, let I me think um, somewhere in between you think it's in between so you you're saying that it's not necessarily critical yeah but that it can be. It can. Okay. So, how about for, can you maybe choose a side for this, just for the purpose of this debate, um, whether you think it is, like if, you, if you're leaning more towards yes or if you're leaning more towards no. Is, is it more? What, what do you think, um, James? I think it depends on the teachers who, who teach. Depends on teachers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's fair. Anybody else? Opinions? Agree? Disagree? I'm extremely agree with. Uh, I think it's critical. So. Okay. Extremely. So. I think art. Um, improve. Uh, improves the many 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 functions of the brain of our brain. <laughs> And it helps to, I don't know, to uh, maybe in the future if you want to study some technical um, uh, careers like architecture or something like that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it might be useful. So you think that it is critical because... You, th you think that it's our job as, as people, I guess, in society to introduce children to these concepts, such as art, because it could lead them to another path, such as architecture, right? Yeah. Well, not architecture uh, only. No, yeah, not, not only okay. architecture. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fair. Okay. Anybody else agree, disagree? I'll go with um, the no side. I'm sorry. It's not a critical component. 
Why? Well, because based on my own experience. Based like on your art own doesn't art doesn't have very big influence on you know a child's personality or something like that. So in so you think that it doesn't have a big impact? Yeah, that's why I go with the no sign, not critical. Ah, uh, okay, and, okay. Yeah, I'm somewhere in between the critical thing. You know. Okay, all right. Fair. That's a fair opinion. Okay, Ajeline, I think you were gonna say something as well. Yes, um, I totally agree with um. Well, with the statement that um, art should be uh, should be taught in in uh, well at at school, but maybe yes, we can make two. Um, the the first part would be um, I don't know kinder or well yes kinder, and mm -hmm. then up to I don't know ten years, and then from eleven years to fifteen years. We can well. The teachers can teach um, how art represents parts of history in some way. So it's very important art in history, and that it's very important in our lives. I think so. I vote yeah for yes. Okay. All right. So so far we've got two and two. Two for yes. Two for no. Um, and for different reasons. So, so we've, we've got, I think, a full class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, okay. <clears throat> so, anybody else that would like to share their opinion? Um, Me, Facundo. All right, go for it, Facundo. Okay, I, I think there are the not just a subject, uh, another subject. It's important for child because they can learn didactically with it. Art let uh, work the imagination, so it's important. Exercise your your mind. Help to understand it. Help to understand abstract concept too. So you think you think it's important to help understand different concepts? Yes, exactly. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get this whiteboard to stand up. There we go, okay. Can everybody, is that too small or can everybody see that? Let's see if I can, can you guys see that okay? Dang it, okay. Um, so Facundo was on the yes side, okay. Um, Facundo, okay, anybody else? Um, I would like to say something. All right. Um, I I think it is critical. Is critical component of uh, children's education because I think, um, for example, if a if a if a child, um, he or she saw a movie, and. Uh, in this movie, there's some um, violence. Maybe when they grow up, they were, they were, you know, children like to uh, simulate. They may, they may think that um, that kind of violence is to be very cool and very kind. So uh, it may lead them to a uh, wrong way so I think to to give them a concept what art is and what is the and lead them to a good way of uh, understand understand what what uh, un understand so I think it is very critical component of education totally okay. agree good okay so so you think that when when children see things, it influences them. So, um, and you give an example with with violence in movies. You think that when children see that, it influences them a certain way. And because these things that they see, 
influence them to think or do certain things, that we should introduce art because it could have a positive impact. Okay. All right. Anybody else that is not shared that would like to share their opinion? Well, I'm here. Oh, hello, Gianca Luca. Gianluca. Yeah, yeah. I think that art is part of our life and represents our perspective and ideas to refer to the several components of the life. For this reason, I believe that art is important. It's a way that you could express your ideas. For example, if you feel alone, you could paint in some ideas that happen in, in yourself. Oh. Well, in my opinion, art, yes, is a part important of the public education in general. At overall, I think, yeah. Okay, yeah. I agree. I agree. Anybody else that would like to uh, share? So far, we've got this is this is what it looks like right now um, for the debate. We've got. One, two on the no, one, two, three, four, five, six on the yes. Um, anybody else? We have, we have a few other people in the Hangout who have not shared their, their opinions, and that's okay if, if you don't want to. Pardon, um, a question? Question, yeah. When you are, you are thinking in art, you are thinking only in paintings, or you are thinking also in music? That... Oh, we did not we did not define that. That's a good question. Okay. Um, how did you guys interpret the question? Meaning, oh. what what did you guys think? Did you art, did, like should we include art painting. or should we include music? Painting, music, drawing. We'll include. We'll in, I say let's include music. Let's inc include music. P so E or. No, um, PE -P would not be art. PE is like, like sports. What it? Sorry. Oh, okay. PE. So I, I, like, I didn't know. Yeah, no, that's okay. It stands for physical uh, education, which means going to play sports. It's not art, but do you need it to be fit yeah. to keep fit? Yeah. To to yeah to exercise because it's healthy. Yeah. Okay. So we'll include music then. Um, that was a, that was a good question. That was Gianluca, right? Yeah, right. Okay, thank you, Gianluca. Okay, Luis, I, th I saw that you wanted to say something. Yeah, acting is is a kind of art too. Theater. What is it? Acting. Acting. Yes. Mm -hmm. acting. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Luis, so what do you think? Yes. Um, would you like to share your opinion? Yes, I'd like. Uh, I think the art is very important to the child education because uh, developing the cognitive uh, function uh, in, in in child and the child is be able to to be more sensitive to to control the agitation and pay attention uh, more pay attention in this in this class so I think can help uh, a lot uh, create a, a better human being good okay so you say yes you think it'll help create a, a better human being okay all right um, I'm gonna add your name to the yes all right is there anybody else who would like to share their opinion? You don't have to if you don't yes. feel... Yes? Can you hear me now? Yes, now we can hear you. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, I think so. Art is an important component because uh, education is not only... Uh, is not only a brain thing or it is not only a physical thing. It's also about soul, and uh, we must, we should feed our souls too. Um, and art provides children to 
a different viewpoint, I think. So, art is an important component. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, I think you were the last one, Yagmud. Um, at least the last one in the in the actual hangout. Uh, okay. So this is basically what what you guys all said. This is what you guys said. Um, we had Kevin, who is not in the the actual class, he, he was in the chat. Um, he says no, Hewan says no, and the rest of you said yes. So, I think that the next thing we need to do is, is, is figure out, um, since most of us say yes, I think, if, if, if you're okay with this, Hewan, um, Hewan, you should defend yourself a little bit more and then that way we can really get this debate going because if you say something if you say okay this is why I say no and then somebody says oh, okay well I see that but here's where your argument is lacking or, or some, something like that we, if you say your opinion human I, I know that Carlos and Ajeline and um, some other people are, are talking with Kevin on the chat but human if you're comfortable with this will you tell us again why why you said no and maybe add a little bit more and then that way we can start this debate okay uh, this is more from my personal experience okay oh uh, I am the person who really doesn't belong to art I don't know how to draw I sing very bad and all of those things so all of the education regarding to art that I got when I was in middle school, when I was in elementary school, didn't affect me at all. So I just want to like raise a point about those person who don't like art. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you. And um, if anybody would like to say something back to what Hewan said. Um, yes, I didn't like PE and I had to run and make this all those things that they make me do and uh, I I don't know there is it's useful if you don't like it it maybe the teacher didn't uh, treat the the subject in a in a good way because it's very very um, difficult to treat art or to teach art and also history or geography there are some subjects that you won't like in 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 high school but well we it's general information you you have to to know it just to know it i don't know and then if you yeah. do something with that you do it and well i didn't like economics at all but i had to study them and I know it's useful, but I don't use it. Them, sorry, economics. I don't use them at all. Okay. I just all have right. a question for you. So, suppose that you like art. So, what I'm are posting. some? Yeah, what are some positive effects that you got from learning art in schools? Well, first of all, I think that we that as we chatted before, as we wrote it before, uh, it makes you be more open-minded because yeah. um, when you are very, very little, you're a, a child, and you draw or you paint, and nothing, not nothing of that. It's very, very good. But I don't know your parents say, "Oh, what is that?" And you say, "Well, it's a cow. Don't you see it? It's a cow." <laughs> and maybe a teacher, an art teacher, could say, "Well, that's impressionism," and you say, "Oh, well, I'm I'm an artist." But when you are very very um, young, then at high school you can learn from these uh, artists, these painters, for example, that they um, show. They will show you uh, their um, point of view at that time, and you can compare them. I don't know the the richer uh, artist and the most uh, well, the, sorry, the poorest artist, and 
there are different points of view, and they tell you about history. That's yeah. it for me. To me, sorry. And stuff, and stuff like music um, helps us to build up our brain because the brain is a muscle, and it has to be um, built, built up, built up because because the brain is always absorbing all the information and arts like music helps to structure our brain and our, and our thinkings so when you, I don't know, music is surrounding us all the time and if we learn music at school for example when we are five, six, seven we are we are learning some information that is basically for for our lives, you know, or drawing or I don't know. There are basically um, activities for children to learn some special. Um, I don't know to 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 develop some some parts of the brain that. A purple, a person that uh, wouldn't did that uh, will not have this, this, these parts of the brain developed. Yeah, I have a, a point. For example, I'm here in Rome. What is the most important things in Rome? It's the art, the old art. By another hand, if you talk with the father. And you say to them, I want to study art, I want to be a musician. Are your father, are your parents agree with your position, with your choice? I think that nowadays art is not important in the economic world. Don't have a great chance in our mind. For example, if you see a, a graffiti or anything like that in the world, you're saying it, that it's in, that it's an art, that is horrible. But nowadays, economic, right international, it's important. That it's not in related to art, it's related to numbers. Math, another subject, maybe it's more important than art. That is our actual mentality in the high school. It's my opinion. I want to I want to add something. A another thing um, that I think we need to keep in mind is I think what human said, yeah, um, there are some people who art is just not meant for them. Or, or at least they haven't found. I, I know a ton of people. I used to think that um, first I thought I was an art guy. Then I thought I was a math guy. Now I think I'm a little bit of both. I think that you can find ways to relate to art and math. For example, um, <clears throat> with math, I thought I wanted to be a math teacher. And at the university, I was studying to be a math teacher. And I started getting to the higher level maths, like calculus three and differential equations. And I just didn't like those. I mean, it might, might have been because the teachers weren't good, because the teachers are also uh, a key component in a good education or, or learning something well. But I thought, OK, hey, maybe that's not for me. Until then, I thought, OK, maybe I should go back to art, because I like movies, I like film. Um, but then I, I, I realized, okay, I do like math still, but I like math on a simpler level. Like, um, like let's say it's planning a trip to go visit, uh, let's say it's planning a trip to go to Rome. I want to go to Rome for two weeks. So if I'm, play, if I'm adding up the money and creating a budget, I'm using math there. But then I'm visiting art, I'm going to the museums and learning about art, um, and maybe I'm drawing a cool map. So that just drawing, that could be art. So I think one important thing is to remember that art is used all the time. 
for example, um, Huey, your your picture, your profile picture is of two little cubs fighting. Now, I don't think there were actually two cubs fighting. I mean, there might have been, but either way, it's a photograph, and photography is a form of art. So you could just like photography. That's a form of art. Um, and I, I know this is kind of sidetracking from what we're talking about as far as a children's education, but um, <clears throat> Hewan, you said that y you found out early on in middle school and elementary school that art wasn't for you. But how would you have known that if you hadn't been introduced to it? Would, would you have known? Um, can you ask the question again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you said from your personal experience, you were introduced to art in, I think you said elementary school or middle school, and you didn't like it or you didn't think it was fit for you. So my question is, would you have known that um, if you hadn't taken art at an early age. So would you have known that um, if art wasn't in a child's education? So if in, if, if in your early education there was only math and sciences, how would you have known that you weren't fit for art? Does, Actually, does that question, does that question make I sense? In, when, I, when I was in school, all, all types of art were sorry, hold on. All types of art that I was that I was exposing to were uh, drawing and singing, and the thing that made me believe that I don't belong to art is that I got like my painting was very terrible, and <laughs> yeah, all the thing like like the result didn't satisfy me. Uh -huh. But okay, so so my question is, but how would you how would you have known that you weren't good at singing or you weren't good at painting if because of the teachers they told me that like here in Vietnam we like if I have a painting then the teacher will grade it and all I like all I got at the time which was six out of ten. <laughs> like Six out of ten. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I think m maybe my question isn't as clear um, as as it should be. So, <clears throat> so you're saying that you, that your teacher like gave you six out of ten, and and you thought, okay, this painting isn't good. But let's say we went in a time machine and we changed your education in Vietnam, and we said, okay, we're not going to teach art. So there was only math and science. So my question is, if that were the case, if that were true, how would you know that you didn't like art? Like how, how, how like I'm saying, if you were, question. what? I don't know how to answer your question because actually I had a chance to expose to art. That's why I know that I don't belong to it. So, so like what I'm saying, I guess let me let me rephrase the question completely. So the, the basically the point that I'm trying to make is, um, do you think it's important to expose students to art or, or children to art? I think it's important. You it's think like, it's important? Okay, okay. I think it's important for our children to know what art really is, to like do, okay. to discover himself in the early age. Okay, okay, that okay, that, that makes a lot more sense now. Um, so you think, so then w would you change your answer and say that it's a critical component in a child's education, meaning we should expose them to it? As in, l l like, we expose them to it maybe early on in elementary school? That, like, I personally that, that's... think that the um, impact of art is, is, diff is different from, like, depend depending on the person. So for those like me, art doesn't have any influence in our personality or in our beliefs at all. But there are some people, they art 
is a very important important part of their life. So okay. I think for like if you see as a whole, if you see as a whole, like the whole children in the world, art is not that important. I believe. Okay. All right. No, that's that's uh, um, like Ajeline said, we all respect your opinion. Yeah. It's a good question, Joe, that you made, because if the child or the student uh, is not exposed to the art, you never discover uh, a Margaret Freeman, a Beethoven, a Charlotte Dixon. You never is, is going to discover the, the artist. So I, I think everybody can the opportunity to exposed to the art for the great great artists show up not the only the great but the middle artists show up as well if, if not we the artist finish is going to finish in the future if, if not exposed to art for the new students the new generation the art is going to finish it goes to over <laughs> So it's, it's a very important question you did for us. Good. I'm 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 glad you you um, recognize that. Yeah, because <clears throat> I think yeah. Well, like okay. So let's say in the entire world, we say okay, art art is good, but we don't need it as a part of. Um, sorry, my phone is going off. Okay, um, so. That's, that's a good point because let's say we were to change the education in all of the world and we said okay art is good it's good for expressing your opinion and everything but we don't need it in school kids will pick it up outside of school then we took it out of school think think what what would the world be like would would there be art still or would there not be is it should we expose them to art if they weren't exposed, would would we still have great artists, great painters, great sculptors? No, I think the current um, writers and the current painters uh, couldn't be the same. Because I don't know when they learned in their in their childhood when they learned um, I don't know when they wrote essays and when they draw. Yeah, their when they drew sorry their their paintings they were improving that abilities and they were learning of course so that's a that's a great point to to make children um, more intelligent too so I think this 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 current writers and painters and musicians and um, couldn't be the same. Anybody else? Uh, and today uh, we see that the level of the art is decreasing yeah. because of this. Is this question you you raise for us? Because where is the new Charles Dickens? Where is the new Beethoven? Maybe it's hiding in, <laughs> in in the land of the Africa, South America, the Asia. But if not offer art in education for this new child, you never figure out. You are never going to figure out. Yeah. Well, one other thing I want to say is, um, <clears throat> so yeah. If we were to change the the education in the world and we took out art, yeah, they would probably be exposed to it. But um, you have to think about then we'd have to consider the long run. So obviously, most people study; they go to elementary school, they go to middle school, or they go straight to high school, and then after high school, usually they study. Um, going to college, I think, has, has been increasing. The number of students that go to college has been increasing a lot because you have to. You need a, a bachelor's degree or even a master's degree to get a good job. <clears throat> and so the, the, the counter argument, I guess you could say, if you were to say, hey, we need art, and that's because we, we can't 
bank or we, we can't guarantee that they'll be exposed to it um, and even if they are exposed to it then what if they want to study some more art in the school and we took it away so they can't do that then they'll, what if they drop out or what if they don't um, they don't know how to learn more what if what if, if if we take away art we take away that opportunity for them to learn more um, from professionals or like art teachers or people who have more experience than them because think about it if if we don't if we don't have art in school and then Carlos and I are hanging out and randomly we start drawing pictures and then we say oh dude drawing drawing so cool I wish we could take a class at school but they don't offer art at school anymore um, you know like oh dude Carlos I wish I could learn how to draw better I like drawing but I'm not very good at it where am I going to be able to learn it can't do it at school because they don't offer art so I, th I think that's another important point to to consider because even if even if you say hey it's not our job to expose them to art I think you could say it's our job to help them grow more as artists so that, that was I just have, a, I, have, uh, I have a question okay if you talk with your parents and you ask them it's it's now they are important in our society what will you do their question, their, their answer. It's are important if you if you talking with the common people on the street. It's important art for the kid. It's important, for example, the kids know about Da Vinci, or it's important the, that the kids know about the numbers, the economy, the international, the trade international. What what do you think that it's a common reaction about the importance of art in our school? That, that's an uh, that's an interesting point, Gian Gianluca. Um, I mean, I guess it depends on who you ask. Uh, like, if you ask common people, like just regular people, or if you ask people with lots of money. Or if you ask homeless people, poor people, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's because everybody has their own opinion. Like, like we've seen here, some people say no, some people say yes. That's okay. We're all humans. While we're all, we're no one's a, exactly the same as somebody else. So we're all gonna have. Different well, for, for example, if, you, if you're talking with any student, it's important art. Yes, it's yes. a way to get with the marks. Sorry, can you repeat that? Well, if you talk with um, with any young man it's about the importance of art, he asks, he answer you, well, yes, art is important. It's a way to get uh, good uh, marks. Good marks. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. That's true too. You know. know. Okay. Yeah. No, sorry, Carlos. Okay, so you know, I think that people who reject art is rejecting their own uh, culture and their own lives, because because this this is this is art. art. Life is an art, so to live is an art, because you are you are making things. You are you are I don't know. You are uh, inventing and making things. Uh, new things like I don't know, writings, drawings, music. Al also speaking. Well, I think um, when you are um, saying a speech, you are also um, I don't know, like broadcasting uh, or casting a uh, a kind of art. Expressive art, you know, this, this kind of things. People who reject that is rejecting themselves. I mean, you could argue the case that everything's art. I mean, from the clothes that you wear to the car that you drive. I mean, 
<coughs> every everything. Well, it was an example. I, well, of, of course, there nothing. All there, of course, all is not an art. But okay, it was an example to explain that. So. It's a creation. Creation, it's art. Maybe if yeah. you invent or make up a word, it's some kind of art. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I can I can I can imagine a a world without art or without this this kind of creations or this kind of of thinking. So I don't know. That in comparison, economics and mathematics it are really important. There are. Can I say I something? know there are. We, we, we could live without economy. We could live without art. But we are not. We are not saying that that we can we can live without economy or without maths or without biology. They are also important as art, you know. Well, I think one thing we have to think about too is when we think of when we think of economy. You think of the when you think of economy, or at least for, at least for me, I think of the stock market. I think of banks. I think of people using debit cards and and credit cards and all that, but and and Gian Gian uh, Luca, you were saying, can we live without that? Now, I don't think it's that we live without that. I think it's that it exists, but a different in a different form. So, for example, uh, when I went to Panama during the summer, I lived in a village. There was there's no stock market. There's no um, there are no banks. There there's there's money, um, but a lot of people grow their own food. They they do all the things at home. Yeah, they yeah. they they live without these things. And you, it's not that they don't have an economy. Because for example, if um, Carlos is my neighbor. And he grows rice, and I grow coffee, and I say, "Hey, Carlos, I'll give you two bags of coffee for two bags of rice." No right way. There, we, we, <laughs> and he says, "No." <laughs> yeah, so, so we're exchanging goods, and that could be classified under economy, because we have, you know, buying and selling goods, um, or in this case, just exchanging them. But there's still an economy that exists. It's just in a different, a different type of economy. <laughs> But I, but I think what you brought up was a good point. There, you have to think well, about those sort of things. Yeah, I was thinking. I think we were talking about economy, like the history of economy and the the many kind of of the many types of economy and things like that, like capitalism yeah. or communism or things like that. Uh -huh. so. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, I know we have one minute left, and this has been a really good debate, and I think we could go on for another hour. But yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, I have to go teach another class after this. But thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys, all of you guys participating and stating your opinions, which is great. Uh, thank you for doing that because I know it takes a lot of confidence to speak in front of everybody else if because you might be scared your English isn't as good as somebody else. But thank you guys for participating. This was a lot of fun for me, and hopefully it was fun for you um, and good practice. So thank you guys. Have a thank good you. night. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Good, good night. night. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Good night.